Hurricane Milton brought powerful winds, a storm surge and flooding to much of Florida after making landfall along the Gulf Coast as a Category 3 storm. It weakened to a Category 1 storm as it moved through Florida early Thursday. Power outages were widespread, and deaths have been reported from severe weather. The cyclone had maximum sustained winds of 120 mph when it roared ashore in Siesta Key, south of the populated Tampa Bay region. A storm surge was affecting a long stretch of Florida's Gulf Coast, including densely populated areas such as Tampa, St. Petersburg, Sarasota, and Fort Myers. A tornado was seen tearing across a roadway in Florida on Wednesday before Hurricane Milton made landfall. Tornadoes were also spotted in other areas of the state throughout the day. As of Wednesday evening, three Florida offices of the National Weather Service had issued a total of 133 tornado warnings. The Miami and Tampa offices issued 49 warnings each, while Melbourne had 35. Hurricane Milton made landfall Wednesday along Florida's Gulf Coast as a Category 3 storm, bringing powerful winds, deadly storm surge and potential flooding to much of the state. Hurricane Milton has crashed into Florida as a Category 3 storm, pounding the coast with ferocious winds of over 100 mph and the hurricane has also spawned multiple tornadoes across the state, serving as dangerous warnings of Milton's arrival. The cyclone had maximum sustained winds of 120 miles per hour when it roared ashore in Siesta Key, Florida, at 8.30 p.m., the Miami-based National Hurricane Center said. The hurricane was bringing deadly storm surge to much of Florida's Gulf Coast, including densely populated areas such as Tampa, St. Petersburg, Sarasota and Fort Myers. The hurricane was downgraded to a Category 2 storm as it moved through Florida later Wednesday evening. 
It was expected to remain a hurricane as it crosses the Florida Peninsula Thursday before emerging in the Atlantic Ocean. Due south I-75, tornado in progress. Large tornado in progress, west-northwest of the Miccosukee Surface Plaza off I-74. Large tornado in progress. 